In this learning session, we will explore the options available to you when you are editing a dashboard. We are in the edit mode of a dashboard. This is a financial metrics dashboard where we have pulled in different data based on our business. The editing options available to us are as follows. We can add a new visualization. This allows us to add an additional visualization to this dashboard. You're not limited to one screen, so you can create something that's scrollable and can be consumed on either a desktop device or a phone or tablet. Next, change the layout of this dashboard so you can move different aspects around or resize visualizations. You can change the theme. This allows you to change the color pattern based on over 25 different themes that our designers have developed. You can merge two data sets and join visualizations to create a new data visualization out of two existing ones. Create dashboard filters that allow you or your users to interact with the data, or set variables on a dashboard level. In the My Settings section, you can change the underlying data source of the dashboard. You can reset a refresh rate for your data sources. Choose a name for this dashboard, preview this dashboard, and then finally save the dashboard when you have it set the way you want it. That's a quick overview. Let's go over each in more detail. Let's talk about adding a visualization. If you want to add a visualization, touch the plus sign here. And you have the option to either choose the existing data source or choose other data sources that you have recently connected to Report Plus. In addition, if you have a new data source you want to connect to, hit the plus sign here and then choose from any of the data sources that Report Plus connects to from social networks, CRM systems, analytical tools, databases, and more. If you're interested in creating a visualization, there are other learning sessions to get a deeper dive with specific data sources. Next, we will talk about how you can change the layout of a dashboard. Each of these visualizations can be moved around, and then each of these can be resized. For example, you can expand the visualizations. Now I have a different arrangement that might better suit the story I'm trying to tell with my data. Let's look at themes. Choose between different themes. Match your brand or pick a theme that best fits your presentation. You can pick from light or dark themes, and this is a really quick way for you to change the look and feel of the dashboard. You can merge two visualizations. Take this cache visualization and this AR visualization and choose to merge these by their dates. Choose the joint condition. Choose to discard any data behavior for rows that don't match. Once you've done that, you can select all the combined data sets and now have a table of the combined data sets. Choose this option here to show the sum of cache and the sum of AR as a line. Now you have two data sets combined to one visualization within the matter of a few clicks. Next, we will look at dashboard filters. You can create a date filter, create a dashboard filter, or create a what-if scenario or a variable. If you want to learn more about adding the filters, there is a dedicated video covering dashboard and date filters, so please check that out. For overall settings, you can change data sources. If this data has actually gone from Dropbox to Google Drive, let's say you have an Excel file and now we are using a different service. I can actually update this dashboard to point to that new service where that file is now located. You can also change general settings such as the name of this dashboard, the description which will give the viewer some context, and add a refresh rate. This is a time frame where my visualization will actually refresh itself in real time automatically against the data source. One of the key features of Report Plus is that we do not store your data on any of our servers. The data is cached on your local device if you are offline or Report Plus directly connects from that device to that data source in real time. Let's go back to the dashboard. You can preview this dashboard by selecting the Preview button. This allows you to preview how others will view your dashboard. You can also click the Help icon here, which will bring you to our User Guide, which is an in-depth web page where you can go through all the features and functions that Report Plus supports. Lastly, once your dashboard is complete, you can either undo some of the changes if you didn't want to keep them, or choose Done. This will prompt to save this dashboard. If this was the first time saving, you would see a screen like this. Choose the name of that dashboard and then choose the folder to save it in. Once you hit Save, that dashboard is now saved in that new location. 
To learn more about Report Plus, keep watching the guided learning videos. Look through the product documentation. And for the latest updates, be sure to check reportplus.com.